Hey everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. A little bit of a disappointing end to that uh, Eve run last time, but we tried. I think this time, you know, I know we're due to play as um, probably Maggie, but I've been playing a lot of Isaac today. I want to play some Eden runs. Maybe just one Eden run, you know? I, I can get down with the randomness. Looks like we start with blood rites and, like, sticky goo. Here's our seed. L C F J E W N A L C F J E W N A. Sounds almost like uh, pig Latin. Is not though. So that's Ares. I still. Oh no, it's Taurus. My mistake. Two different horned animals. Oh, it's the dopest hairstyle of all time. So Taurus, if I may say so myself, I think is almost overpowered. The fact that it's a uh, it's a speed downgrade, which sucks. But the fact that it gives you the uh, upgrade in the form of being able to destroy basically anything you touch uh, is pretty good, I'd say. Petrified poop, you know, it seems like a fairly nice item for us to have. I'm probably never going to use Blood Rites. I don't think Blood Rites is very good. But uh, this seems like a fairly strong Eden run to start with. Half because of the seed and half because of... Uh, well, I guess the seed is technically what caused us to start with what we started with. But half because of our starting items and half because of uh, Taurus right off the bat. Pick up a key. We've already got nine cents. Might be able to even make the shop on this floor worthwhile. Dingle, you don't scare me at all, buddy. Even though I've got this speed downgrade, you're going to get slowed when you walk into my fuck corridor here. And I'm going to get the game kit effect eventually. Eventually. Any minute now. The game kit effect is going to show up. And boy, howdy, you are going to be screwed when that game kit effect. Hey, there we go. Finally. I figured I could guilt it. Two more hits, maybe. Excellent. Uh, the cardboard box is, like, acceptable. With petrified poop, I expect to get a decent amount of money out of these remaining poops. Uh, it has not worked out that way so far. We got no extra money out of those remaining poops. But the box gives us flat penny and wheel of fortune. Tell you what, wheel of fortune goes down and gets blown up. It gives us more bombs. It was well worth it. Hmm. Okay, our pill is a tears upgrade, which is objectively good. I think here's here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take petrified poop for now, and I'm gonna try to use this to destroy all the poops that I haven't destroyed yet. If these drop pennies, I'll wait to pick them up until we go back and pick up flat penny. And leaving this floor, I will take flat penny with me. I was gonna say there's probably only like one more room, but still. Um I think this is the, the best possible play for us. I'm really hoping to get to 15 cents so we can in all likelihood make our shop worthwhile. And I think that could turn out fantastically for us, but um, it's also possible that we just don't even come close to 15 cents. But even if we didn't come close to 15 cents but we got some keys, that'd be pretty nice. Uh, the sticky goo or whatever it's called, it does allow us to get some spider familiars almost the same way that, um, not infestation, but the mulligan does. I don't know what the criteria is for it though. But we got one there. All right. We're leaving. We're slow. But uh, regardless of that, that's okay. We'll move along here. Yeah. I feel content with this. We got a tears upgrade. We got Flat Penny. We got Taurus. I feel like we're put in a pretty good position here. And we have to get a Cathedral kill as Eden. So we're not going for a Lamb kill. We're just going for an Isaac kill. The same thing we did last episode. And again, as always, set your expectations. I don't know if we're going to be... Uh, even coming close to boss rush mode or anything like that on this run. So don't necessarily expect that. It's one of those things, you know, we kind of got to roll with the punches, you know? I can't remember if we actually have a, uh, if we have a lamb victory on Eden. I think we do, though. Two keys to get into this room strikes me as a little bit cost prohibitive. Oh, come on. Stop moving. A little bit cost prohibitive given that we don't have very many keys, that is. I am going to use a, uh, a bomb here. I figured maybe we'd get some pennies out of that, and if we got pennies, there was a pretty good chance we'd get keys as well. Turns out it would have been much better to just save our, um... Oh my god, the cat just banging on the door. I'm okay in here, Tombo. These are fake enemies, man. It's... <laughs> the cat is coming from inside the house. Okay, hopefully that's our secret room as well. It's not, but that's a lot of money, and probably a couple of keys out of it as well. Yeah, that went very well. Our shop contains converter, which at this point I would do anything to get rid of uh, to get rid of blood rights. But I think we're gonna start with humbling bundle and I hope that maybe we can get uh, to the secret room and buy converter as well. Obviously, especially now that we know that the rosary's here, converter is very good for us. Um, but 
Well, yeah, we'll avoid picking up the... It's a weird situation. Let's just talk about it right now. If we picked up the Rosary, it might give us a better chance at a deal with the uh, Angel instead of a deal with the Devil, because it would up our Faith stat. I don't know that for sure, though. But I don't want to pick up the Rosary yet, because if we do get the money to buy the Converter, I don't want to have lost Spirit Hearts, because that might cost us, you know, one HP upgrade, or, you know, half of an HP upgrade or something, effectively. So it's a bit of a weird situation. I almost hope that we just get Pageant Boy on our boss fight. It's fairly unlikely, but we'll see. Either way, I'm not going to be too salty if we end up only being able to get Humbling Bundle out of our shop. Like, Humbling Bundle is a great item. Better long-term, maybe, than <laughs> Converter? It's hard to say, though. Alright, let's go fight our boss. Then, I'll tell you what, after we finish our boss, we'll talk about what's up. So, ideally... Ideally, though, we kill these haunts quickly. And, uh, we don't get Game Kid yet. Don't give me Game Kid until we actually get to damage the boss proper. That's bad damage. It could have been worse there, as you almost saw. Oh, okay. There we go. This is what I was looking for. Fuck his day up a little bit, at least. There we go. We killed him. We did get a deal with the devil. We got a speed upgrade, which we could really use. The range upgrade is negligible. Uh, I think that's Contract from Below. Contract from Below plus Humbling Bundle is the craziest synergy. Oh, my God. Did you break in, Tomo? How did you get... <laughs> Maybe Kate let you in and I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. All right, um, let's look for our secret room. I don't even know why you want to be in here, man. Then you just, like, want to get out as soon as you come in. Anyway. Have we been to our boss trap room? We totally haven't. We can now, though. Yeah, let's fight it out first. It's a pill. Pill is tears upgrade, sure. Um, I was going to say, where's our boss again? Now, this is, like, the ideal boss for us to get uh, Game Kid on. We could probably kill him in one, uh, one fell swoop if we just get lucky with it. Especially as his HP gets lower and lower here, but, uh, it's okay. Ooh, just back it up for now. Actually, Gurglings, I would be totally fine to get Game Kid against them as well. Well, at least we got some money out of it, but we're only up to seven cents. Oh my god, Tomo buddy, you gotta relax, dog. He's not really a dog. Um... Sure, I mean, those trinkets are okay, but I don't want them. As weird as that may sound. Because Flat Penny is substantially better, I think, especially if we end up getting something like Guppy's Tail. Please be good. So it's a key beggar. I'm gonna give him some keys. In the hopes that we get to 15 cents. Come on, dude. Uh, we can afford a lot of keys, given our kind of lot in life here. Okay, I'm gonna open... Domo, it's okay, buddy. I'm gonna open the door for you. One second. Hello. Hello, yes, hi. You may escape now. Now, if he's banging on that door trying to get in in, like, 15 more seconds, I'm gonna be ornery but not too mad because, let's be honest, he, his brain is like the size of a hazelnut. Don't milk me for all the keys I got, dog. That hurts pretty bad. Let's blow up these shrooms, see if maybe we get a pill or something. Well, what do we do here? I would still really like the converter. I think we buy a key for three cents. Take it down to this young gentleman here. And see if he'll give us something else. I could have also opened the golden chest. Which would have been much smarter because that could have contained like ten pennies. Alright, well we're done with this floor then. Thanks a lot. Thanks for nothing. Key asshole more like. Ah, oh, he gave us two keys. And the two of clubs card. I'm gonna use it right now. So I'm mad that we're not going to be able to use the Converter. We could have picked up three HP upgrades as a result. But a Humbling Bundle combined with Contract from Below... I think it makes it better. I'm trying here, guys. I'm blowing up the pots hoping for nickels. Four bombs for two cents in a key is not very good. I think we've got to accept that we're done. What if we find, like, a fortune teller here, though? Let's see. Just red hearts, man. Red hearts all the way down. Well, that's tough luck. Oh, well. All that uh, weird theory crafting and, you know, wasting keys and stuff aside, we're in a pretty good position as this run goes forward here. Uh, our damage, yeah, it's not that good. But we got these spiders. We got Taurus. We got double Joker cards. We use one. We get the Bible or uh, Book of Belial. 
You know what? I actually think Book of Belial is a totally okay pickup for us here. It's not going to kill us, and uh, it's not even going to put us in HP debt. So it is effectively just a one heart for uh, for one item trade, which is totally fine. Especially because the item is pretty good. So there's four more keys. Two bombs for six bombs is a pretty good trade. Number one again, I think we can afford to take it, especially with the sweet spider army we've got going on here. Would love to up our damage, though. No question about that. Let's take a trip through this room. And I think we're set up pretty nicely here. I'm going to go for the Cathedral Kill just because I know the Cathedral Kill is something we need. The Lamb Kill might be something we need, or it might not. You know, the Angel you know is better than the Devil you don't. We do have a problem on this run. I think the obvious problem is that we just don't have very much HP. And we have no way to replenish our Spirit Hearts or Black Hearts. Um, that being said... Actually, you know what would have been a, maybe a better choice than Flat Penny? I have, a, I have a huge bias towards Flat Penny. I think it's really good. But, uh, man, you're really going to make me get the Bible, aren't you? Because of, uh, because I picked up the Rosary. But uh, it would have been nice to pick up maybe the uh, Demon's Tail. Because Demon's Tail gives you evil up. Combined with Contract from Below and Humbling Bundle. Oh, that was terrible dodging there. That might have put us in a crazy position to just get an absurd number of uh, black hearts. For now, though. We'll fight the hollow. This stands to maybe even be easier than some of the rooms that preceded it. So, um, I, I'm very happy about this. I don't give a shit about what we get in our deal with the devil room because we already know that it's the Bible and uh, the other space bar item that I have. Okay, you know what? You got me. Fair enough. At the very least, we can go back here and use the Bible to pick up six bombs. They really get on you about that Bible thing. You take one rosary and all of a sudden it's like, have you heard the news about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ, come on, cut me some slack here. Now, we might as well shoot the poop. We got number one. It'll die pretty quickly. Is this run winnable? Absolutely. Is it one? Absolutely not. That's really good. We don't have PhD. It's actually taking me some time to have to remember that. Our run is great in spite of the fact that we don't have PhD. Like, our, our, sorry, I should say our pills have been great in spite of the fact that we don't have PhD. Sure, yeah. Golden poop. Probably going to give us a stupid number of keys here. Well, now we're definitely not going to buy the Bible, but... Um... Oh my god, do you hear this? Do you hear this? Yeah, I can hear Kate from the other room yelling at Tomo for... Being a silly kitty. It's not his fault, you know, he's a cat. He doesn't understand, he thinks I'm locked in here. What's up with his cat, Kate? Well, you can come in here and sleep if you want to be in here, Tomo. I'm glad I'm glad you got a full belly, but please be less noisy. You know, we actually managed to sneak in here um, without taking damage as a result of the game kit effect, which is pretty nice. And we got two black hearts out of it as well, which is, you know, even nicer. Even if we hadn't gotten in for free, it would have been worth it. Two, two, two of spades cards. Okay, that's 60 keys. Now, uh, where's my guppy's tail at? That's the other thing I love about, um, well, whether it's Contract from Below or Humbling Bundle. Uh, when it drops two of the same item, it, it has crazy synergistic effects. Like, how, how many cents do you need to have to get to 99 if you get two, two of diamonds cards dropped? You only need, like, 23. So, uh, it's, it's really absurd how you can do things like, hey, gain 45 keys instantly, basically. Uh, or gain, um, 70 cents instantly or something like that. It's very good. Yeah, so we bought BOGO bombs. I think we should buy the Spirit Heart. I, isn't this a tiers upgrade? It's a, it's a tiers upgrade. We're gonna buy that, of course. Even though our tiers are probably, like, nearly maxed already. Uh, we're in a pretty solid position here. Don't take the Bible, though. I oftentimes uh, take the wrong item down with me just because there's a little bit of a weird kind of cooldown difference between Vanilla and uh, and Rebirth, but that's okay. Caves 2, it's my favorite track. The Hot La Miami joint. Kind of sleepy acoustic, or not acoustic, electric uh, surf guitar here. So, all right, just keep moving soid to soid. There's only four of these heads. That's not very bad at all. Um, I'd like to run into them if possible. Yeah, I was worried about triplicate shot there. You always got to be careful because um, when you think it's single shot, it's triplicate shot. When you think it's triple shot, it's brimstone. 
And when you think it's Brimstone, it's Brimstone. Well, I actually don't like the game kit effect on this room because I can't hit these enemies. Which I guess highlights the fact that, uh, you know, it would be nice to have the ability to fly. Also, it's not so nice to have number one on this room. But it's alright to be little bitty. Little old town instead of big old city. Might as well sing, might as well smile. Life goes on for a little bitty while. I'm loving this spider army. More spiders the better. That's what I've always said. That's how I live my life. Say what you will about uh, spiderism, at least it's an ethos. Now, we don't have very many bombs yet, but we did just buy BOGO bombs, so I would expect to have bombs soon. Ooh, HP up, please. Range down. That's a problem. <laughs> That's a little bit of a problem. Let's just get out of there. We can't fly, so what are we hoping to accomplish there? Um, certainly, this is one of the rare situations in which an HP upgrade is actually pretty valuable for us. I don't think our range is going to end up sinking us, but I've been wrong before. It's just an empty room, basically. Well, not empty, but you know what I mean. Nothing in inherent of value. More spiders, please. These guys can rush us down pretty quickly. We're lucky that we have um, this creep slowing enemies, but still a little tricky and we're very lucky we have Taurus without Taurus this run would look a lot uh, a lot direr I think Ooh. the problem is we're never not gonna be in a situation where we're almost taking damage you know what I mean like we are pretty much always gonna be in a harrowing situation that doesn't even put out the fires there and you can tell I mean I'm taking a lot of damage here we're not gonna be long for this world if I don't get either a range upgrade or, um, I don't even know, orbitals maybe would help out a lot. Holy Mantle would be ridiculous, but I really doubt we're picking up, uh, we're picking up more deals with the Angel anytime soon. It can show up in item rooms, but it's, it's a lot to ask for. Consumables are sorted for us, no question about that. Broken Watch, you know, it's okay. But we're not really interested in going to the boss rush mode, so I think I'm just gonna buy our Spirit Heart. Which will probably be exhausted in like one room. I was hoping maybe we get like the game kit effect right here, but no. Okay, one bomb for three keys, I think. And if there's one constant in life, it is that you will be fighting Chad. Always. This is exceptionally disappointing because we know that um, we're not going to be getting a range upgrade on this fight. Now, range is normally not that big of a deal. In our situation, it is. Also, we don't have any red heart containers, so Chad's not really hooking us up too much right here. Krampus. Oh, snap. Okay. Well, let's be honest. Lump of Coal's not doing us any favors here. I would totally take Krampus's head. Book of Belial's been great, and will continue to be great. But... Krampus's head gives us a long-range ability to deal damage to enemies at distance without putting ourselves too much in harm's way. Ugh. Alright, range-ups then. Haven't been to our item room yet. This is a... <laughs> Look at how our shots change as they fly. It's majestic, isn't it? Wow, that's very lucky. Wow! My accidental Christopher Walken impression is not very good. Wow! You've got to uh, practice your impression. Which is the step that I'm missing right now. That's so bad. But at least it could be worse. I could be Bear Taffy and playing NBA 2K14 right now. You can't see my Steam overlay. I gotta just make it up. Bear Taffy's playing Secret of the Magical Crystals. Nick's playing Bad Rats. What's up with that? Alright. Well. What are my outs on this run? It's not a lost run yet. It's actually, like, it's still pretty good, but... I mean, obviously we have problems with it. Uh, what, what are my outs, as I like to say? Um, there's some big ones. Brimstone. Infinite range, I think. Such awful damage, but I have to get close to these guys. Um, yeah, Brimstone's one. We'll go into that room when we have our Book of Belial charged up again. Um, can I even hit these enemies? I can, with momentum. Actually, I can if I just get close. I don't even think I need momentum. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna help. We'll just wait here for that to be done. Um... Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, Brimstone's an obvious one. Mom's Knife's another one. The Technologies. Ludovico Technique, although our shot speed is pretty low too. 
Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Our, our, our rate of fire is pretty good, so charged tears, even cursed eye or a monstrous lung could be good. Oh, it's it's fucking holy mantle. That's exactly what I just asked for. This is like some soulmate shit, where I was like, what are the odds of me finding my soulmate on this floor? Not very good, right? But there it fucking was. It was right there the whole time, Gwyneth Paltrow, you big dummy. So this is actually a life saver for now. Um, it, it might not be enough to carry us for the whole run, but it certainly gives us a higher ceiling of kind of like, you know, what we need. Really? I didn't even get any friendly spiders. It was just angry spiders and bombs. Not even hoagies and grinders or navy beans. Did I just reference Adam Sandler unironically? What year is it? How old am I? It's like the end of 2001 A Space Odyssey in here. Alright, yeah, jump on my creep, motherfucker. Step on a crack, break your mother's back. Step on the creep, you'll say eep. Doesn't quite have the same uh, ring to it. I'm, I'm digging this though, you know, we're not doing a ton of damage, mostly because I can't really get close to him anytime he actually chooses to spawn creep, so uh, if he spawns creep, I gotta get the hell out of dodge. I, I don't really understand that expression, assuming it has something to do with the motor vehicles, something I don't have very much experience with. Well, Holy Mantle kept us from taking damage on that room. That's a, a sentence I hope to be repeating multiple times over the course of this episode now. So those of you who are playing along at home, I love the collaborative nature, like the community nature of uh, of these uh, Rebirth episodes. The fact that you can have these seated runs. I understand if you're if you're not doing the seated runs or you're you're not doing them yet, because of course you don't actually get to make progress on them, which I can understand is a little bit annoying. But for those of you who uh, are playing along, thank you. I've been, I've enjoyed reading the comments and uh, the tweets and stuff like that. And uh, if you've survived this long on this run, which you know you're a uh, Probably a decent Isaac player if you're watching the videos. I assume that you have. Good job. This is where maybe things start to get a little bit more fun for us. We've actually got a we've got the items necessary to maybe make a, a, a shot at the greatness here. Unfortunately, not quite enough money to get broken watch, but I don't really want broken watch, to be honest with you. I Oh we can do it! It's able. Okay, so we could we can't do it again, unless maybe if we walk out, walk back in. Oh, we're geniuses. We're geniuses. We got Abel for free. We got Abel for free! Suck on that! <laughs> That's actually not very good, which is why I'm playing it up a little bit. But hey, I feel very smart for the fact that I reasoned that I could walk over there. That's cool, okay. So now we know yet another great usage of Holy Mantle. I got, I got 73 keys. How can I sit here and be like, I'm not going to open this golden chest? Sure, it gave us... Oh, well, there goes uh, Holy Mantle. Gave us a shit trinket. But, I mean, maybe it's not a shit trinket. We had uh, we had Butt Penny earlier, and I asked for, um, you know, synergies or something, or, or situations at least, where Butt Penny could be useful, like, to see if I was just not conceptualizing the item properly. And I haven't looked at the comments for that episode yet, because the episode has not gone up yet, so I don't know if maybe there, there are some amazing Butt Penny uses that I just haven't thought of. But we made it through here without taking damage, and we got... Uh, a stupid amount of money as a result, which is beautiful. Unfortunately, we can't do the same thing here that we did last time, because the uh, the pill is just too far away. So this is fun. Uh, we should probably extinguish the fire first. Then we got to use our momentum that sneaks. Oh, you know what? We have Abel. All right, Abel. I'm a private Abel. You're Abel for money. Shoot what you cannot shoot. Seriously though, like you need to kill some stuff, dog. Cause I cannot get over there. So we're just gonna fire over here. Luckily this has somehow made us safe. Oh, yeah, move like a little like that. Oh, you got it. You got it, buddy. You got it. Let's get a little closer. Oh, there's Holy Mantle gone. Well, we can take out these ones at the, uh, at the sides. Oh, this is a much easier way to get this done. Abel, Abel, you're not in the right spot, buddy. There you go. That's the spot right there. Knock him over to me, my friend. I can do the real damage. All right. That was uh that was very enjoyable. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that room with low range. Uh we didn't take damage somehow. It wasn't holy mantle. 
That's Holy Mantle right there. Oh, yes! Save me! Lots of bombs. What's our card? Two of hearts. That's real bad. Not gonna use Book of Blau on this room. We're gonna have to use it uh, on, on some rooms if we wanna, you know, be stronger. If we wanna win this run. Two death cards. Hey, that's pretty good. Does this room suck? Not really. I'm not gonna use a death card on it. Won't hesitate on some of these larger annoying rooms, but this room's not so bad. So I'm really hoping for some technology or brimstone or something. I know it's a cop-out, but at the same time, I think we, we're entitled to ask for a cop-out given how much freaking uh, range issue we have right now. Which is a sentence that doesn't really make sense, but uh, tell you what, I'll give you like... Uh, a fraction of a penny each if you just don't take me to task over it. There's no way I'm using bombs to get keys when we have 74 keys and a limited number of bombs. This is our Book of Belial worthy room that we've been asking for for so long. And there's a uh, Holy Mantle being used. Don't fuck it up here. There we go. Good, good, good. I'm very happy with this. BBF. Big Beautiful Fly. It's good and allows us to damage enemies from range like so. Uh, and that was pretty much your ideal example of it right there. Uh, sometimes it'll appear right in front of enemies and uh, right in front of our own face and damage us. That's what that's what makes it a little riskier, but we're kind of piecemeal putting together like a run that might be a plausible victory here. Uh, okay, you kind of blew up my cover there. That's all right. If I just let Big Beautiful Fly deal some damage, and then uh, wait for Game Kid to activate, hey, maybe Bob's your uncle, we end up pulling out a win here somehow. I don't know, man. This is a, it's an exceptionally weird run. But I like it when Eden runs are weird. We, we have been to our shop. We literally just went to it. It was greed. Good to know. Oh, Big Beautiful Fly. Oh, that was your chance, dog. All right, I'll wait another 15 minutes for you to come around here. Well, um, we're gonna fight the boss. We got Book of Belial already. I know we haven't been to every specific uh, room on this floor. You know what? You might be saying, oh, Northern Lion's gonna be mad. He's getting a, uh... Oh, there's Holy Mantle gone. He's getting a cube of meat on this floor when he really needs a range upgrade. I still really do need a range upgrade. There's just no, no two bones about that. Um, I'll, give you, I'll give, tell you what two bones it is about. You know what I mean. Uh, but, uh... I'm actually happy to have Cuba meat. Oh no, big beautiful fly. I'm happy to have Cuba meat because it's an orbital, so I have another way to deal damage to enemies, basically. Will it kill me, you guys? It'll fucking kill me, won't it? I can't take it. It'll fucking kill me. Oh. If I hadn't taken damage, please turn into a spirit heart. Oh, you dick. You fucking asshole. Let's go explore. We might not even get more access to this room. But uh, I say we explore and try to get a spirit heart. If only the shop had been a shop, then we'd, been able, we'd be able to do it. Do I not take damage if I pick it up because I have Holy Mantle? Oh, wait a tick. Maybe that's the right way to do it. I don't know. Look, look around for Tinted Rocks. Look around. Every now and then, I am filled to the brim with a soul-crushing sense of dread. Look around. Mom's knife. Every now and then, I throw a run. Look around, Mom's knife. Well, okay, our curse room is actually our chance. And it, actually, the most fitting thing of all would be if not visiting absolutely every single room is what caused me to not get Mom's knife. So let's, let's focus on that um, instead of blaming the game. I need you now, Mom's Knife. I fucking need you more than ever. And if you let me hold you tight, my range will bother me never. Doesn't really make any sense, but just go with it. Uh, and the other thing with doing this is that even if we get Mom's Knife, we're going to end up, you know, not being able to take any damage at all because we'll die instantly. But uh, there we go. Let's leave. I think this might be the kiss of death for this run, or it might be what allows us to actually survive into the perpetuity. Uh, but we're gonna need... <laughs> we're gonna need something. This is a good start here. Give me some spirit hearts. 
dickbag. Don't spawn flies, by the way, because, like, big, beautiful fly could crash into them and blow me up and kill me. So that would be, like, really bad for business. I would be displeased. So I'm trying to wait until big, beautiful flies on the, like, the other side of the map here. But, uh, mostly just, like, a, a payout, maybe. Like, seriously, like an HP upgrade or something. I'm fine with it. I'll wait. Oh, coin purse. That could be great. It could also be meaningless, but it could be so good. Balls of steel. Balls of steel. Do we know any of these? Explosive diarrhea. No! We blew up our blood bank that we couldn't play anyway. Hematomesis. It's meaningless. Paralysis. Really? Speed up! This is not what we need! Oh, I need to open that, but let's go into this room first. In the hopes... This actually, like, with this low range, actually feels more like Old Mom's Knife. And I've made Old, Rom's, old Mom's Knife runs work. Now, this could be the end of us. Or it could just be the beginning because it's a spirit heart. Fuck yes. But then we're fighting the Dark One, who I would expect to maybe take one hit against. Who comes next? Who's on first? When will the darkness go away? I'm fighting Loki. Loki doesn't make shit dark. You're benefiting from somebody else's, uh, somebody else's attack, you asshole. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna put a bomb down there. This room was a very smart decision for us. Let's not take damage. Now, we have Holy Mantle, so we can actually afford to get hit. But we can't take damage. See? I got hit there. I didn't even feel bad about it. Lucky Toe? Probably a lot better for us uh, than Flat Penny when we already have 88 keys. Back, yeah, back the F up here. Whew. Um, strangely enough, I think we, we get out of this fairly easily for the mom fight. It's the mom's heart fight where shit hits the fan. Isaac's head? I think Lucky Toe's a little better. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, well, not even the mom's hard fight, but just surviving to get to the mom's hard fight where shit hits the fan. You never know, though. There's a small chance we could pull off the, uh, the unlikely. I didn't want to say the impossible, because we've done this in vanilla before. Oh, this, this is an extremely, potentially important area over here. No spirit hearts there. No freebies, huh? Oh, nice! I forgot about this. Alright. Blue hearts are now exceptionally valuable. Like, the most valuable for shit for us ever, basically. Oh, oh! I didn't get hit! I was inside of Chubb temporarily. But I did not get hit. Okay, spirit hearts, spirit hearts. No spirit hearts. This is okay. We still got an item room and a shop awaiting us here. I'll be straight with you. This room scares the shit out of me. Could so easily take damage. Plus, the fact that it exists makes it pretty likely it'll just walk on the spikes at some point like an idiot. Uh, yeah, one key for a tarot card. Be the hero font, please. Magician. Eh. Shop, huh? Uh, I'll just <laughs> I'll wait it out. At some point, you're gonna have to give me a uh, game kid. Thank you. Spirit heart on the shop. Steam sale is probably not worth buying. So we'll donate a shit ton of money here. Just get yourself wedged behind the machine if possible. Ah, man. We only got to get like 10 cents there. How do we... Where did our other spirit... Oh, we just bought it. Right, like an idiot. It wasn't an idiotic move to buy it. It's idiotic to not remember it, though. There we go. Oh, a tarot card. Don't mind if you do. Strength. Good for maybe a later boss fight or something. Certainly better than the magician. You think I don't know how to aim mom's fucking knife? Have I been to our item? No, there's a there's a couple of rooms on the sides here I haven't touched yet. I'm telling you. We don't need too many good breaks to, to turn this into a winning run. Of course, we don't need too many bad breaks to turn it into a losing run either, but it might not be quite as dire as it looks. 
Stem cells. Yes, please. It's not like we're benefiting from not having HP. We might as well take it. If only so we could trade it for deals with the devil in the future. Like maybe a dark bomb or something. It's weird how putting a in front of it makes that item sound so much dirtier. Like a dark bomb is way dirtier than dark bomb. I think. I don't know. They're both kind of dirty. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go fight uh, our boss here. My hope is that we're able. You know, I'm gonna use the strength guard right away. My hope is that we're able to get out of this without taking. Uh, oh man, that's awesome. Without getting hit by holy or without losing holy mantle for a while at least, and that that's exactly how that shit went down. The deal with the devil is is good. This is super good. It might seem like, whoa, what are you trading away your HP for? No, don't do it. But it's basically one red heart for three black hearts, which on the womb. And beyond makes sense because the the red heart it's not like you can ever replenish it once you lose that red heart you're just gonna die so trading your uh, your one red heart for three black hearts is actually a, a huge move for survivability so we got curse of the labyrinth which may mean we have n oh so dumb but holy mantle thank God uh, may mean that we have no um, deal with the devil but to be honest with you how can I complain about not having a deal with the devil at a time like this what oh, it's a new uh, trinket missing poster we'll take it I don't know what it do. But I'm happy to have it. Takes us a little closer to the golden slash platinum god. Oh, it's so huge. It's so huge. Uh, careful. Careful. Oh, shit. This is why this enemy is like the most annoying enemy in Rebirth. Yep, that was bad on my part. Um, it, it just shows up right underneath you. You think you got a bead on it, and then it's like, surprise! I brought oatmeal raisin cookies, and you're like, no, fuck off. I don't want your oatmeal raisin cookies. I already told you I'm a, I've got celiac disease. And then I know the commenters are going to be like, your gluten's a fad diet. It's true, man. But some people are straight up, like, just legitimately allergic to it. Probably not nearly as many people who uh, who think they are, but still. Give them the benefit of the doubt. If they, if they feel like they're healthier for eating a gluten-free diet, then that's good for their mental health, I think, even if they are crazy. Oh, no. What are we supposed to do about this shit? Able? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, we'll put a bomb down there and tell this room to fuck off forever. Now let's just hope there's no dead end over here. Did you see the trajectory our big beautiful fly charted there? How did it hit nothing on that amazing path? Fish head, not good enough. Well, there is a dead end, so we'll use another bomb on that room back there. Uh, but at least we know we don't have to fight it. We can just get out of it. The other way that we would fight this room is by um, losing a black card. There you go. I should have just uh, stood in between the beams because of Holy Mantle, we could get hit once and still be fine there. That room's bullshit if you have low range though. I think that's a tears upgrade. I'm willing to, to work for it. It's a range downgrade. It's like the exact opposite of what I need. These, like, chasm rooms are really, really tricky for us here. Okay, well, we can't fire Mom's knife like this, unfortunately, but at least we're invincible in the moment. Yeah, these, these rooms have become very difficult now. Balls of steel. Health up. That's, that's fine. That's real good. Very happy to have that. And we're slowly but surely putting together a win here. I think we actually have the HP necessary to beat Isaac now. We certainly have the damage, and we have the defense from Holy Mantle. We've skated along the Razor's Edge for like half of this run, um, but we did get to a point. You know what? Oh, you know what? Uh, let's check this out. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Probably the smartest man in the world. Yep. Uh, incredible. Intellect, the likes of which uh, has never been seen before. Unless they thought of this and it's just not working. But I'm still. The only thing I know is even if this doesn't work, I'm still um, an intellectual power, the likes of which uh, only comes across maybe once or twice a generation. Maybe you have to wait for the invincibility to wear off, then you do it. I just don't think it's working. If it is working, I don't think it's fucking worth it. Alrighty. Well, this floor's gone fairly okay so far. 
those things can go fudge themselves. Uh, a battery for a key is actually a really good trade here in this case, but we're going to stay away because I haven't really even been using my uh, Book of Belial. Should probably start doing that. I had no idea the boss room was so fudging close. Oh, I can wait, my friend. You dirty trickster! <laughs> there we go. Okay, charge it up. All right, we're going up. It's Conquest. We got two boss fights in a row. Conquest nearly dead already. So I'll tell you what. That's that. I could use um, I could use uh, the White Pony instead of Book of Belial. I think Book of Belial is still going to be our go-to item here. Oh, big beautiful fly worked out for us there. Bad damage, but that's just Holy Mantle, so that's okay. Now is where we... Oh, yes! Oh, Taurus plus Mom's Knife. It's the craziest and best synergy of all time. Remember, we're going for the Cathedral kill this time. Ah, oh, I'm so happy we're turning this one around. Or we've turned this one around. I shouldn't keep sandbagging. We're in a really good spot. That might be worth it, but... You know, I'm, I'm mostly just trying to finish this floor. I wonder if we could actually get to the chest. Like, I'm assuming that this is how this works. We don't have a... We don't have a Polaroid or anything. Which I'm assuming is mostly a criteria, but... You know, we got to the cathedral a few times without having officially unlocked it as well. Got the Halo theme going again. This actually turned out very well. It's amazing how run how different this run could have been if you didn't take that mom's knife play. If we hadn't gotten that spirit heart on that curse room, uh, I think we might just straight up be dead right now. Could have been dead on a necropolis curse room face palm in my head. Sorry for the Creed references, um, but Lent's not for a little while, so I don't expect to be giving them up anytime soon. Oh, okay, Holy Mantle, that's fine. I love that uh, taking one hit doesn't mean shit for us anymore. Oh, Devil Card. We are gonna straight up destroy Isaac, I think. I didn't take a hit there somehow? How does that happen? Ooh, probably should have taken a hit there. Yeah, I, you know, I don't love this room. There are things about this room I do love. If I could get this floor for my prison architect room, I would be stoked. Oh yeah, you come back right as I lose my invincibility. Shrewd play, good sir, shrewd play. Well, we don't need really any of those. Oh, I hate this room. We're turning your bedroom back into the computer room. Turning your bedroom back into this ghostly room. And it makes good sense. It's the only way. Um, so, for real, we're just going to pop this devil card. And, uh, well, I was going to say we'll wait to use Holy Mantle as long as possible. I guess that's as long as possible. Give me the game, kid. Our invincibility is not quite as long. There we go. No, no, you don't understand, Isaac. Come back. You know, we don't, we're not quite as tanky as I uh, maybe originally estimated. Oh, man, that was a perfect big beautiful fly there. You're done. You're done. You blew it. That's probably the end. We'll watch it. Sweet! Um, probably could have done better, but we won, so who cares? We got a blank card unlocked. Our save file has not changed yet, but in any case, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that run. If you did, click the like button. Hope you played along at home. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more Isaac in the future, and thanks for watching. Thanks for your incredible support in the series so far, and I'll see you next time.